Yo guys, it's me Phil, and I want to welcome you to my third tutorial. Um, actually, my first upload as partner. Um, and today we're going to take a look at that uh, stroke tutorial, not stroke tutorial, at that stroke I did in my uh, latest edit, that all live. Um, and as you can see, the stroke is tracked. Um, and that is basically what we're going to do today. Okay, so um, let's get right into it. Um, as always, we need um, After Effects, um, and I've already tracked my scene. So let's start. Um, first thing you have to do is create a solid, and um, go to Effects, um, and go to Trap Code, uh, Trap Code Particular, um, and now you create a Null Object, and the light. Um, what is really important, be sure to call this light emitter exactly as I typed it in. Um, so what we're going to do now is um, go to emitter, select the null object, you can actually pick with it as well here, like that. Um, now you go to your uh, solid, go to emitter, um, go to emitter type, and um, select the lights. So when you select the null object as a 3D layer, layer um, trap code particular will be tracked. When we take a look at our when we take a look at our scene now, um, we can see that um, the particles are tracked. And when we go to our null object, hit P on a keyboard and move those around that you can um, change the position now uh, with that null object and not with uh, the layer uh, the actual solid so um, that way you can um, track layers in a 3D space which ones normally wouldn't be able to be tracked in a 3D space as you can see when I try to track this uh, solid it's not really, no, it's not allowed, so I'll uh, uncheck that. Um, so, when you want to create a stroke, first thing you have to do is change your particles. Um, what I like to do is change my emitter size um, of the X to about zero, so it's not that random. Um, now I'm going to the particles, change the color first. I'm going to choose yeah, bright green, bright quite bright color um, and I'm, I'll am i stay with the uh, sphere, spheres as particle type um, now I'm going to change the size of them to about 2 or 3 that's up to you um, and I'm going to change the particles per second at um, the emitter option so we get many particles um, so as you've already recognized, um, you track your um, emitter, you track your particular plug-in with that null object. So um, that's actually the same way how we create the stroke. Um, so what we're going to do is get the particular layer at the end of our cinematic or wherever you want it to be. I'll just going to start right over here um, now you keyframe the position and start with it and change you can do that with the arrows as well and change the, pos the position of it sorry um, maybe a bit higher so we get some waves in it and that's actually the way how you create those um, particles track. What I would do when I um, have less than when I haven't enough I would really recommend um, you changing your particles per second to about a thousand because otherwise you will have problem like here or maybe even more or change uh, the size it's pretty much up to you 
Um, and I'm just going to continue with that. Change the position again. You can do some crazy stuff like um, backflips. I'm not really sure if that's right. If I'm right when I call it that way, but um, when I go further, like oh crap, when I go further like that, try to create a looping or backflip. Sorry, that should actually work. Why? Probably last time. Okay. Okay, it's not that good looking, but um. As I already said, you can mess around with those settings and try to make it perfect. So like that. And continue. Change scale again. Uh, position again. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to change the particles per second again. Because that is way too much. What I forgot to say is, and then you can just change the uh, emitter size, so all of them are way more together. Um, the velocity as well, so you can get a really good fitting stroke, like here, when you change the velocity to about 10 or even 0, it's just a stroke. But I would recommend choosing about 50 or even higher, it's up to you. Um, just mess around with those settings um, and there are a bunch of things you can change, you can change the shading, uh, shading change the physics, you can change um, rotation you can change pretty much everything you want um, what I like to do is add a glow to it as always I actually add a glow to pretty much everything glow to it so as you can see there's a difference haven't seen that before now you can add a color correction or uh, a text as always in the motion track scene you can add a text or um, change the way uh, your stroke behaves add a few curves in it, uh, loopings or as I did here change the keyframe so the stroke is always in the picture just mess around with those settings um, and you'll be able to create something really unique not much people do that um, yeah I hope I could help you um, be sure to like, comment um, and give me some requests uh, and it would be really awesome if you guys could check out my Facebook fan page because um, I'm going to post every single video I'll upload on there so you won't miss any videos of myself peace out